82-year-old Cincinnati man wants to go to jail. He's committed no crime. He's doing it for former juvenile court judge Tracy Hunter. Curtis Jackson is live at the Justice Center to explain. Curtis? Well, Rob, Tracy Hunter is due to report here to the Hamilton County Justice Center on Monday to begin serving a six-month sentence. Some of her supporters say they plan to join her behind bars on that day, including 92-year-old Charlie Watson. A bone in 1922. Wow. You can count from there. <laughs> For most of Charlie Watson's 92 years, he has been apolitical. He didn't protest during the civil rights movement, and the first ballot he ever cast was in 2008. But on Monday morning, Watson says he will get himself arrested and hopefully go to jail for former juvenile court judge Tracy Hunter. I'm willing to do what I can. I can't do much, but what little I can do, I would like to help her not to go to jail. Last month, Hunter, who is also a pastor, was convicted of interfering with a public contract. Judge Norbert Nadel sentenced her to six months in the Hamilton County Jail. She is to report there Monday. Watson plans to join her, and Hunter's supporters say he won't be the only one. A number of people have told me that they'll be getting arrested on Monday morning. Bishop Bobby Hilton says Judge Nadel's refusal to sentence Hunter to probation raises questions when compared to another Nadel case. 27-year-old University of Cincinnati student Mark Glover was charged with rape and kidnapping for an attack in the student center back in October. Earlier this month, the rape and kidnapping charges were dropped. Glover was convicted of two counts of gross sexual imposition in order to register as a sex offender. Nadal sends Glover to probation. If the rapist and kidnapper can get probation, surely a pastor who yet has a congregation to lead can get probation. Hilton warns sending Hunter to jail Monday could spark outrage. We'll be preaching peace on Monday morning, but we can only hold it for so long. I feel it about to explode. Look here. Right, if you right, Right cannot be defeated. Mm -mm. Now, Mr. Watson has never been in trouble with the law before. In fact, he's not even quite sure what act of civil disobedience he's going to perform to get himself arrested. He is a grandfather, and his granddaughter tells me that the family is proud of his decision to go to jail for what he believes is right. Live in Cincinnati, Curtis Jackson, Local 12 News. Curtis, thanks very much. Hunter is appealing to a higher court. Her conviction stems from her interfering with the firing of her brother. He was fired for punching a teen inmate. The U.S.